Hello everyone, it's Tracking Pat, and in today's video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about using surface footage in the RX mill. Um, we do have surface footage in our older lathe products, but we've never had it in one of our milling machines. And because of that, I want to explain how it all works. Uh, for those of you guys who have older proto tracks and they're just milling machines, you may have never programmed with surface footage. But obviously the advantage is the fact that you can keep the chip load constant at all times. Therefore, your tooling will last longer, your jobs will run cooler and faster and all the rest of that stuff. But the difference is this. If you want to run it that way in an older proto track or maybe somebody else's product, you're probably going to have to go program and figure out what your feeds and speeds should be, then convert them to RPM in inches per minute or millimeters per minute, depending on where you're at, and then put them in the proto track that way and run it. With the new RMX, you have the ability to actually program in your chip loads, okay? So you can program in thousands per tooth and surface footage, just like you would thousands per rev in one of our lathes, okay? And the really nice part about it is that I can set it up in my defaults page as to whether or not I wanna use RPM or surface footage, whether I wanna use inches per minute or use thousands per tooth, okay? What I've done here in this program is I've got the same program you're used to seeing, it's the ballpark. And in here, you'll notice that my surface footage and my thousands per tooth is programmed in here. I'm gonna walk a little bit forward in here and show you in this particular pocket that I have different thousands uh, per tooth that I'm using for my Z feed compared to my machining feed rate compared to my finish feed rate, and it's all in here accordingly. But if I wanted to change any of them, I could go to my options page and simply change from surface footage to RPM and from feed per minute to feed per tooth. And you're gonna notice when I do that, that it recalculated all of that. Okay, so I'm gonna just change it back because I like it running the way that it is for now in what I'm trying to explain. And what I wanna show you is how it actually reacts because this is the important part. So I'm gonna go to the run mode and I'm gonna start at event number three, which is that pocket I was just showing you. And I'm just gonna start at the roughing passes. What's gonna happen and what you're gonna see is when I'm running this on my dials, you can see my actual surface footage and my inches per tooth, okay? And as it's running, if I adjust one, it'll automatically adjust the other one because the two have to work in hand in hand to keep the chip load constant, okay? So I'm also gonna show you at the end how it would work in RPM, but let me show you this part first. So I'm just gonna simply go in here and push go and then start my spindle and push go again. So as you can see, it's showing me my surface footage right here and that I'm at eight tenths per tooth, okay? And then once I get to my Z depth and it starts machining right here, I'm gonna show you a little bit more. So if I adjust this in any way, like if I go to 50%, you'll notice that it cut that down as well, okay? So whether I adjust it that way or I adjust it slower or faster using my overrides this way, it's always gonna keep the two so that the two of them work together. Okay, so now that you have an idea on how the two work together, it's just a matter of being able to figure out what's the best surface footage and chip load for the particular tooling you're using, the type of material you're cutting, and which actual machine you're machining in. But once you get those parameters down, you're gonna find that your tooling's gonna to last a lot longer and you're gonna get your jobs done better. So that's the advantage. That being said, in the readout, I can actually change it and see what it's actually running in my RPM and my inches per minute while it's running. So it'll show me the equivalent for how it's actually running, okay? If I would have programmed this part in inches per minute and in RPM, the difference would be that I could adjust my RPM and this would still stay at five inches per minute or I could adjust my inches per minute and that would still say at 2000 RPM. So that's the real difference between the two. One of them, the two interact together and keep the chip load constant. The other one allows you to adjust one or the other in order to get the right chip load manually. I hope this gives you a little better understanding on how uh, surface footage works in the RMX mills. And if you have any questions, please just make a comment at the bottom of this video and I'll try to answer them as best I can. I thank you for watching and as always remember to keep on tracking.